To the South Bay now, where a retired teacher is accused of sexually assaulting a student back in 2009. Police arrested Anthony Phillips, the victim who was in middle school at the time, recently came forward, and now Sunnyvale police are concerned there may be more victims. KTVU's Andre Sr. live now outside Cupertino Middle School in Sunnyvale, where the assault took place. Andre? Well, Julie, the teacher we're talking about here, the suspected teacher retired from Cupertino Middle School here about three years ago. But more recently, though, he was a volunteer coach for two girls teams at a local school not far from here. Parents entrust their children to educators every day, and now we're learning one teacher took advantage of that trust. The details starting to unravel last Thursday. The victim of these crimes uh, called and spoke to one of our detectives. Captain Craig Anderson with the Sunnyvale Police Department says the victim told them that she was sexually assaulted by her teacher at Cupertino Middle School back in 2009. The details no doubt will be tough to hear for many, and as Anderson put it, quote, brazen. This occurred in his classroom at Cupertino Middle, when most likely there's other teachers and other classmates around, and there's and full sexual intercourse occurred in his classroom in a closet. The victim said the teacher responsible is Anthony James Phillips. Detectives say Phillips admitted by phone Monday to sexually assaulting the student. Phillips retired from Cupertino Middle School three years ago, but it turns out he still had access to kids. Working as a girls volunteer softball and basketball coach at Fremont High School in Sunnyvale. And that is where police headed Monday around 7 p.m. They actually watched him uh, coach softball yesterday evening. And after, at the conclusion of the softball practice, um, they arrested him. The district called the allegations extremely upsetting and said it will, quote, continue to cooperate with Sunnyvale Public Safety in their investigation. And we encourage anyone that might have additional information related to this case to contact law enforcement, end quote. The victim was reportedly urged to come forward more than 10 years after the incident by a therapist. It is not clear why Phillips confessed to the crime, but Anderson says the statute of limitations did not apply to this case. Statute of limitations on cases like this don't attach until law enforcement has been notified. So we were notified last Thursday, and that's when the clock on statute of limitations begins to tick. Now, Fremont High School and district officials, they did release a statement. They said that Phillips, uh, they did perform a background check on Phillips before he was allowed on campus to volunteer coach and that everything came back clean, but that he's no longer allowed on the campus now. Now, Julie, the police department says the attack back in 2009 was so brazen. They suspect there may be more victims, and they're asking anyone who had a familiar or similar situation with Phillips to contact the Sunnyvale police right away. Back to you. All right, Andre Sr. in Sunnyvale for us tonight. Thanks, Andre.